Hammerspace unveiled what it calls Hyperscale NAS, a new storage architecture that functions as a bridge between GPU-based AI processors and storage infrastructure. The technology combines the characteristics of an HPC file system and an enterprise NAS, promising high performance and scalability for AI training, GPU computing, and unstructured data processing. Hammerspace presented this technology in a product launch last week, including presenting at AI Field Day. So, Stephen, I think you were present for some of this. What did you make of the announcement? Well, I have to say that this is an incredible announcement, and I'm going to get a little storage nerdy here, so sorry about that. Um, so one of the things that, uh, for basically the history of storage, um, there's been sort of, um, well, two flavors of scaling. There's, as you know, there's scale up, there's scale out. But also, honestly, there's, I don't know, normal scaling and normal clients. And then there's hyperscale, HPC, and AI demands. And that stuff is completely different. It's a totally different workload. So, you know, if you were going to start um, a bus company, yeah, you could buy a bunch of vans, but wouldn't it be better to buy a bus? And that's kind of the situation where the hyperscalers are in, and uh, especially in the HPC market and the AI um, training market, uh, if you look at what they're doing for storage, they're not using conventional storage systems. They're not using conventional storage arrays. They're not even really using conventional storage protocols, though there is some relationship. Um, essentially, the challenge in the HPC market is that you have a lot of clients. And, and I don't just mean a lot like, oh, we have a lot of servers in our data center. No, 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 no. You have tens of thousands of clients. And those tens of thousands of clients, unlike the data center, they're all accessing roughly the same data. In fact, it's conceivable that literally every system could access any piece of data all at the same time. No conventional storage system can handle that. So what Hammerspace has done is they've kind of invented an entirely new thing that brings sort of the conventional NAS uh, storage that we're used to in the data center, but makes it massively, massively parallel and scalable. And what that means is that Hammerspace can now uh, serve the needs of HPC and AI training with more uh, you know, conventional data on the back end. And as we talked about literally in every session at uh, AI Field Day, we've gotten to the point now where LLMs are pretty good but it's become incredibly clear that LLMs need really, really good data for training, for inferencing, for regular everyday use. And Hammerspace is basically bringing a technology that allows them to have the kind of performance and scalability that they need, along with the more conventional approach of enterprise storage. This, importantly, is a, a layer that sits in front of other storage systems, so it doesn't mean that Hammerspace is you know, competing with all those companies that are making NAS and SAN and all this kind of stuff. No, what they're doing is they're basically building a bridge that allows all that stuff to work. And importantly, this is also a bridge because, hey, this is Hammerspace we're talking about. This is also a bridge that connects a diverse back end of, of storage systems into a uniform front end that could even be in a hyperscaler or in a, you know, off-prem kind of data center, it, it allows all that data to be accessed. And so it solves a lot of problems. And I really think that this thing is going to take off. And honestly, I, they, they don't really talk about kind of who's using their technology, but I'm hearing that most of the big AI training systems are actually either adopting or have already adopted Hammerspace technology. So that's pretty neat. Basically, the company came along at just the right time with just the right product that's pretty attractive in this market. 